What's going on everyone? Welcome back to 7 Days to Die on PlayStation 5. This is episode 18 and I am just kind of running back from the uh, old cabin base. I went and picked up basically my workstations, the workbench, the uh, cement mixer, the forge, all that stuff and some of the building materials I'll need. Basically, that's all I've done since the last episode. I, I finished building, ended off there, ran back, got attacked by some random zombies on the way, but all is good. I'm just trying to run back over there so I can probably once again temporarily set up these uh, workbenches and workstations to more or less just let me build the uh, base without having to run back and forth. Um, maybe between this episode and the next, I will go and probably move the rest of my stuff, like all my, uh, loot and storage, and maybe a few other things, but we will leave that over there for now, because most of everything I'll need, or need to get, uh, I'm not going to be able to get from the old base, so. Anyways, um, I guess, kinda, maybe unfortunately, this is going to be another building episode, uh, I don't know if people like seeing people build bases in seven days or like the construction and creative block placing but that's kind of be the uh the main thing i do today just because i want to get this base built for the next blood moon on day 21 uh i should be able to do that but i'm gonna have to focus a lot of my building on you know camera instead of trying to do it between episodes because it literally took me the entire time since the last one ended to run all the way over and still didn't even make it back in time so yeah anyways we will get back over there i'm going to place down the uh, at least the forge and the cement mixer because those are the two things i'm going to need uh, the forge makes the cement powder mix and then you need to combine that with stone and sand in the uh, cement mixer to get the actual concrete mix. Uh, also, the forge would be helpful in making more of like rebar frames or forged iron so I can actually upgrade blocks or make certain other ones. Because I think some of the stuff I'm going to be using takes forged iron. Mainly thinking of like ladders and some of the crosswalks or catwalks like little metal platforms you can use to build between stuff um i'll show you kind of what i'm going to be working on it won't be the main thing that i started last episode it's actually going to be the way to get up to <laughs> that uh that point because obviously if i just put a ladder on it the zombies know the path to it and climb that ladder yes yeah, as dumb as they sound and this version where they literally run circles around you when they're sprinting they do know the path to ladders and doors and other stuff so we're going to kind of build a way around that so they don't know to although it's not going to be a ladder <laughs> you'll see it's a uh, i've used it before and luckily they're not smart enough to figure it out and i don't even think in like the most recent versions like on pc that they even know to do how to defeat my uh simple way of tricking them i guess so all right um let's see let's take the wrench off the hot bar get that might just set it over there by the chest on the road it's not like there's gonna be a car or a truck or anything i'm rolling through here that could break it <laughs> eh, it's not likely to happen not in this one anyways all right put that there and we'll just put that beside of it. Uh, one thing I did, and I don't remember off the top of my head, um, what things I had up here for tools. I know I at least had the anvil, but obviously I forgot to take it out when I picked it up, so it just basically destroyed it. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. Um, anyways, we should start that. I don't have any stone on me, but that's okay. Because what I'm going to be using will be wood. So essentially, the base... Well, this is probably the part where 
during the blood moon i stand above and shoot down at but we'll build some more platforms off to the side or a bigger one off to the side and out away from this for the actual base to put like the forge and the cement mixer and my bedroll and all the other good stuff but the way to get up there is not going to be a ladder or stairs or some fancy elevator like you could make in minecraft or something um what it'll be and i'll probably build it kind of off this way so i don't go straight to the uh, thing or actually that would be better if i could build it right here and go straight to that and then the base that might actually be what i do instead i always go build off side and do like a walkway to that and then off to the base behind it and off to the sides but I might go use this like as the uh what do they call it, like a, a foyer, a foyer? Not really, it's not going to be that fancy. But one way up, and you have to get across that. Just so it gives me a, a fighting area if for whatever reason they somehow get up and into the base. But essentially, right over here, I will build not a super heavily fortified tower. It's going to be made out of wood. It's obviously not meant to be uh, strong. But essentially, there'll be a ladder and doors, which obviously anything made out of wood in this game doesn't hold up to zombies very well. But that's okay, because they're not going to directly draw their attention to that. They're actually going to more or less run around that, hopefully. And essentially, what it'll be is I climb up onto a walkway, I walk out over, and somewhere between there and here... I'm just going to put a simple gap in it, like, just no walkway. Obviously, I can jump, I can jump across two, maybe three blocks. Zombies can't, they don't know how to do that. They can jump up, but they can't jump, like, vertically and horizontally. I usually do a two block gap because I don't trust just one, because sometimes it's their full sprint and they kind of, like, run off of it. They sometimes still can gap it. Not intentionally, but they do anyways. I've never seen them successfully get across two blocks. It just doesn't doesn't happen. <laughs> so, anyways, we will build our walkway. And the reason I'm kind of going this far out, and I may even might want to go further, is just so if they do congregate under the base, they don't beat on this, knock it down. I have to rebuild it every five minutes. <laughs> That's that's the reasoning behind that, but once I build this, and actually I have frames, once I build this, it will make more sense, and it's a simple but really effective way to keep them from tracking to you if you're elevated off the ground. So let's see, um... Yeah, what the heck. And I'm not going to worry about building like a foundation under the pillars like I did there because it's wood. It's going to get knocked over. It does sometimes if they get really stubborn and get stuck on it for whatever reason. But I'm just going to build it out of wood. It makes life easier for me. Um, I think here. What was that? Six high? So I think I would need probably just seven ladders to be safe. So we get seven ladders. Build this up. I should be level with that. But, the catch is, I am not going to build exactly over from that block. I'm going to do, instead, uh, I think I can build these in my inventory. I'm pretty sure I can. Um, now, I would use this Actually, I need to test something. <laughs> I can't remember for sure, but I think those blocks actually, um, you can do like a double wide catwalk if I remember right. If that's the case, that's awesome. I might actually do that. Uh... This is just for testing purposes. Ah, yeah. You can make it two wides. It makes it a little easier to walk across. 
I know it, it does it sometimes, but I, I think you have to only use the straight walking catwalks. You can't do like corners and diagonals because then it kind of gets a uh, goofy on you. But I'm going to use these. It's cheap, it's replaceable, and more than likely won't get hit by zombies. <laughs> I say more than likely because it, uh, hopefully it does not. Um, but I do want to... It's going to look weird because it's going to be a two wide on a uh, one wide pillar. Actually, if I was thinking about it, I could have used a little trick I've sort of discovered. You could actually, I think you could place the ladders on these. Yeah. And they won't track to this block even at all. So, oh well. You live and you learn. I'm not going to tear it down now. Just no point in doing that. Right, um, I think for safety's sake, I may put the ladder on the side. That way, I kind of have a, a slight backstop when I get to the top. Uh, you know what? We'll scrap that. How many do I need? Let's go with 30. That should be uh, plenty enough. Alright, so we get up here. Place that. Place that. Actually, do need a... Uh... Can I just make the wood railing and not the... Uh... Oh yeah, I can. We need one of those. <laughs> At least one of those. Um... Where's these at? Uh... I don't know how many... I will need... Go with 12. The heck with it. So, hopefully when I come up here, I don't, like, fly off the side going that way. And then going down, um, shouldn't really need to worry about it. But I'm also going to do this. So, let's see. How do these things open? Okay, come on. Oh. Well, this may not be such a boring episode. <laughs> Maybe it won't be. Um, okay, yes, that opens the way I want it to. And we won't go too overboard on that, but... That'll keep him from at least climbing the ladder and getting up there, sort of. And also keep me from falling off the ladder, going down. So, or it should help, anyways. Um, yeah, the heck with it. Let's go get this... Uh, Let's go get this airdrop. Let's see what kind of goods we get from there. Um, take that. Take that. I don't have any stone on me. Don't think I'll need anything else either. Other than... I might want to try to get some food on the way. And I did get 10 skill points. I did spend my skill points. I had some saved up. I put one into quicker crafting. Another into sexual Tyrannosaurus. Oh, we're going to make this really interesting today, aren't we? <laughs> I heard a zombie coming. I was like, please just be one. But uh, I guess not. Oh, crap. I really don't know how I'm going to deal with this, Benny. Um, well, this, this, this could be the food I need. This would have been a perfect opportunity to test the, uh, the base if I uh, had enough finished. But not today, apparently. Not today. Ah, I totally missed that one. Alright. Uh, oh, this ain't quite a, a mini horde anymore. This is full on this random wandering horde. Oh boy. They're still spawning in over there. Which 
I would like the XP and the loot, but I really don't want to fight him right here. Not yet, anyways. How did you take a headshot, zombie? Okay, that should have hit him. That one did, and still didn't kill him. Okay, that totally missed. Come on, really? Quit dodging my arrows. Yeah, you didn't dodge that one, did you, bud? And that swing completely just missed somehow. Alright, we'll take it just to get rid of it. See so the bodies despawn. Hopefully. I did get some food, though. I hope we will eat it. No point in conserving too much food, because I'm sure I'll get plenty of it. Well, hopefully I do. I hope those zombies, like, actually just buzz off. <laughs> I was about to say something else there. I had to uh, slightly restrain myself. Alright, just get rid of all this crud. Any more of you? No, I think I, I think I finished them off. All right. Uh, what the heck with it? Scrap that. We'll eat that. Drink that. Scrap that. Put that and that and that in there. All right. Um, let's try this again. Let's uh, let's try to get this airdrop before the day's over with. Pleasant little uh, horde of zombies that showed up there. And I was kind of thinking earlier, like, it'd been a while since I actually had one of those show up, and well, <laughs> everyone showed up. I wish the base would have actually been uh, completed. I could have showed you how it, it would have worked. I mean, I'm sure some of y'all know how it works or have done something similar to it. Basically, they just can't track to you, so they run around underneath you if they possibly can, or above you, I guess, depending on... If you're in the ground or under a platform or on a platform above them. How did you... I like, did, did that zombie aggro to me or was that just... Oh, he definitely is now. Alright, enough of that. Okay, what is going on with this club? It feels like the, the hit distance is short for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Played too many other games where uh, melee distances are way different and either lunge at something or you have some kind of distance that you can actually swing and stab and slash and chop at where you don't have to be right up in their face. Uh, nothing in the tree stump. Hopefully this uh, didn't land in the water. It could have, but hopefully not. Sometimes when they land in the water, they uh, they're basically impossible to get to because you don't have a good way to swim down. So uh, you start trying to go down to it, and you're slowly sinking, and your air runs out faster than you sink, and they spawned in. We're going to avoid them for now, um, just because I want to get this airdrop. There's one in front of me. Let's see, can we... Wow, that was two in a row. I felt like both of them was a headshot. Well, that one definitely was. Ooh. Do I have one? Or, duh, I do have one. I was thinking I was wearing it. Don't find the black ones too uh, too often. Usually it's just the regular, like, brown, red color ones. I don't think there's anything super special about the black leather dusters. It's just the more rare and cool-looking ones. Other than that, I think they're identical-looking. Oh, more food. Good. 
Sandwich is not so good, but we'll, we'll take it for now. Just get rid of it later. Oh, there it is. Wonder if we'll get an, another awesome gun in this one. Seems like uh, the last two or three we've gotten pretty good loot out of. But this will be the one that has like one thing in it. Yeah, nothing spectacular. That's uh, that's kind of unfortunate, but it's still useful stuff. I can sell the beakers and medical stuff's always good to have. You never know. Sometimes you take a pummel in and you start going through the med kits pretty quickly. All right, well, we'll get back and maybe I can show off the rest of like the walkway I want to do. It's it's not as complicated as it sounds once it's actually built and I can show you it. Um, essentially, it's just a walkway, but there's going to be a two block gap in it that I have to jump across. And all that does is just prevents zombies from being able to run up the ladder, break through the hatch, and run across the walkway to the base. To, uh, to the base. They won't try to track to it, and they won't also uh, be able to physically get to me. So they'll uh, they'll track to underneath of me, and should leave the uh, ladder and the walkway stuff alone also because to them it's just an obstacle that they can run around most of the time some of them are quite literally that stupid that they run into it and they just keep on running into it for whatever reason so that's also why i make it out of wood you know the pillars of the base i make out of concrete because i don't want them to fail and most of the time they're easier to keep fully repaired like, I, I can't remember how much damage it takes to destroy reinforced concrete, but it's a few thousand. And most of the time when a zombie hits it, they do maybe five damage. And most of the time if they run into it, they don't really sit there and smack on it. Especially if it's just a, basically a post in the ground. <laughs> I got another zombie once a... Oh, of course, that would kill you in the first shot. I'm going to say, another zombie that is going to take two shots to the head from a bow and arrow. Oh, well. We'll get over here and uh, try to finish working on the catwalk to get up on the base. And that probably will be the episode. Sorry if it was a kind of rather slow or boring one with the building and the jabbing about the building, but... We did get a uh, horde of zombies show up, and uh, we did get a not-so-epic <laughs> airdrop. Uh, still kind of a little mini-adventure, though, so can't complain. Or can you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I already looted that. Caught that out of the corner of my eye. I was like, ooh. Hopefully uh, the rest of that mini-horde uh, disappeared already. Next thing I know, I'll start getting hit in the back because uh, I neglected to uh, deal with them all. Uh, I'll just put all this stuff in there. All right, uh, I need to get the rest of my stuff back out, though. Mostly that stuff. Yeah, that's all I needed. Um, if I remember right, you can only build out about Six or seven blocks with wood? No, it's more than that. I think it's about ten. I think it's ten, so that's already one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the block I'm standing in... Oh, wait a minute, no, wait, wait, wait. I already made those, didn't I? Yes, that's what I needed. All right, well, I'm going to leave that as a placeholder. So then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Yeah, I can get away with that. I will leave this part solid, but then when I get to here, I'll put the gap in it. That way, if they do manage to get up there for whatever reason, uh, I have a little bit of room to shoot at them at. So, it'll be okay. I think. <laughs> I, I, I could hope so. Okay, that was something else. Um, it's going to be off-centered. It's probably going to bother me, but I'll do it anyways. We'll build up as we go. Oh, you got to love building in this game. It's uh, very slow and tedious. That off my hot bar. Can I quite reach that? Probably not. Yeah, no. Unfortunately, not. So, what was that? So, that was only f five. Shoot. Let me go one more. There we go. And I should be able to do that. And drop down. This should work. I think it did. Yeah, that did. Alright, pick those up. Oh, come about middle. Do the same things. Kind of. Hopefully this doesn't do something goofy first. Oh gosh. <laughs> I felt my character starting to fall there. That <laughs> could, could have been a uh, nice little fall. Not really, I guess, but probably would have hurt still somehow. Oh, cool. That actually works. And it's not going to fall on my head? Awesome. Uh, the only reason I, I worry about certain things falling on my head in this game is because for whatever reason I have died from literally a piece of wood like this falling like one whole block. It, and it has killed me from full health. Other times it's barely done any damage, but there's just been that one time that it decided, hey, it's going to kill you. Ah, I wish I was lying, but somewhere on my PlayStation 4, I think I screenshotted or clipped that. I think it was a screenshot, but it happened. It, it's just weird that it did happen, but it happened. Of course, there's probably 570,000 other bugs in this game, so I shouldn't complain too much, I guess. Um... See, can I get one more there and there? Okay, got that much. Can I? No. Wait, I'll go up one more and do that. So close. Oh, that should. Why does that look lower? Why does that look lower? It is. Okay. Um, well, it's not all bad, but I do need to do something real quick to fix this. Try six of them. Should be enough. Okay, yeah. Definitely. One too many. Or, not. Not enough, I guess. I'll bother. <laughs> uh, so, slight change of plans. Um, 
Yeah, we'll just have to, uh, we'll improvise. I was counting just the pole. I, I didn't realize that that was actually seven blocks high instead of six, so. It's okay, it still works out. Because I can jump up one and instead of a two block gap. Well, I guess technically it's sort of a two block gap. I know there's math involved there, but what it means is they are not going to path to that because they won't let you run, jump. It just won't, like, they won't be able to figure that out. Shouldn't be able to. The do, then I guess I deserve to die. <laughs> I mean, that's just... Can I please pick that block up without having to, like... Do that. Well, I guess we're just going to do that. Alright, whatever. <laughs> it's not exactly how I wanted it to look, but... It works, it serves its purpose. That's what it was meant to do. So I can get up, get up onto that, but the zombies should not be able to figure this out. It's literally just something that simple. And I think I can actually get away with maybe even knocking one of those out of the way. If I come up here, I should be able to jump it from even right there. Like, I mean, it'll be a uh, nail biter, but... Ah, yes. Proof of concept. Not really, though. It's not exactly what I wanted to happen right now. Oh, boy. Well, I mean, I guess it's sort of working. They, they can't... Well, never mind. I gotta stay on this part. <laughs> I was gonna say, they can't figure it out, but... Give them time, and... There, there's quite a lot of them. All right, we're going to have to uh, temporarily improvise. Uh, hopefully I have enough to make these. I do. Okay. This is where it gets interesting. I'm not going to use these permanently. These are just literally temporary. But they will prevent me from falling into a pit of zombies and getting eaten. Hopefully. That's, uh, that's two hordes in one day. It's interesting. You know what? Uh, we'll deal with them. I was going to leave it to the next episode, but we'll deal with them. But see, uh, this is kind of the idea I was going for, and it's showing that it works. And there's essentially a direct path to me. But because of the one and a half ish blocks gap and a jump up, they don't know to track to me. Or not how to properly track to me, I should say. Now, I haven't tested this on the PC or the recent alpha versions. It may still work because technically zombies don't jump block gaps in this yet, I don't think. They can jump up and they know how to. And they can track across even the simplest of like one block wide paths but other than that no i don't think they normally uh can do that they can't jump that and they're just gonna sit here and uh take arrows to the head right to the top of the head because they don't know any better <laughs> well, i hopefully keep it that way too i mean i don't think they're updating this game anytime soon or if they do it won't be uh it won't be an update, it'll be a whole new game, probably. I've seen, uh, comments and stuff on the internet about, uh, they're wanting to bring the newer versions to console, but, again, that's more than likely just gonna be a whole new game. Kinda like how they did with Minecraft. You have the original PlayStation edition, and then now you've got Minecraft Bedrock, so... That's probably what'll happen, or something very similar. Uh, let me make a new bow real quick. Oh, wrong, <laughs> wrong button. Oh, shoot. What the heck? What in the heck? Okay, that was weird. 
I thought I was hitting the wrong button for a second, but um, don't think I actually was. All right. Um, where's the? There it is. That that was just weird. Something going on with the controller or controls. Um, I'll just scrap that one. Also, a slight delay. It might be because all the zombies lay in here. Or were here. Come on. Come on, zombies. I really don't want to waste bullets because I don't exactly have a lot. I can definitely make more, but just haven't done it yet. Alright. We got two more, three more? Two more now. Oh, nope, crawlers. Uh, yeah, she's done. That crawler took a headshot. That crawler is done. Crawler took a headshot. Crawler is dead. Okay, well, hopefully that's all of them. <laughs> Anyways, that is the episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like or a comment. If you want to see more episodes, subscribe. If you watch this whole video to this point, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. But until next time, maybe there'll be a more exciting episode. I don't know. That was two hordes and a airdrop, so I don't know how much more excitement you want out of this game. But anyways, till next time, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.